guys welcome back to the showcase i'm here with another video we're doing another volkswagen today we're doing a 2021 and a half not a 2021 2021 and a half they made it halfway through the year so 2021 and a half volkswagen atlas sel all right guys the volkswagen atlas is the biggest truck out of any volkswagen they make this car got three rows it's a v6 pretty big truck I personally like the big trucks. I like this car. So let's take a look at how it looks on the outside, the styling, and how it looks in the inside. All right, guys, let's start at the front of this car. This car is not super sporty. They have a sportier version, which is the R-Line. This is in between. So it doesn't have like a super mean grill, but it still looks pretty nice. It's got the daylight running LED lights. They're white LEDs, brighter for night. I personally like that. I don't like the yellow ones. I think all cars are moving from that. All right, this car has a V6 2.0 liter turbo with 276 horsepower. A lot of horsepower in the car for a truck. It's uh, pretty strong. All Volkswagens are switching over to that uh, turbo in their engines. Makes it better on gas, all that stuff. I'll get to that when I get under the hood. Right now, I'm gonna just show you guys the style of it. It got 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels, which are pretty nice. All in all, it's a nice truck on the outside, looks clean. Now that you guys seen that, let's go in the inside of the car and check out the interior. All right guys, we're inside of the car now. The inside's pretty nice, roomy, it's a big truck. It got leather perforated seats for your heated seats, which we don't use because we're in Florida, so it's super hot, might be sweating. But it's got a nice silver trim with like a wood finish. Looks really nice, I like it. Big dash, little holder to hold like change I guess or like your phone up here I'll bring you guys more in to look at the specific specs but a lot of room I like it feels good now I'm gonna bring you guys in these are the keys to the car you got a lock unlock trunk release and then your remote starter pretty nice key it's like one of the luxury keys like I had in the Ardeon a couple videos ago pretty nice now let's unlock this baby. Doors open, pretty smooth. This is how the inside of the door looks. You got the wooden trim, like I said, kind of like a lightish gray leather, two-tone. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to start it up. Put your foot on the brake. You got your push to start right here. Super hot out here, so I gotta start it up. All right, the car is on. The steering wheel is pretty nice. The leather feels good on it. Kind of gets flat right here, like the R lines used to. Now I think all of them do this, but it's pretty nice. Feels good. Feels sturdy. You got your switches right here your signal you guys saw my other VW videos you guys see me show it basically looks like any other BMW then you have your windshield wipers your dash I told you guys in the last video I wish all dashes were digital this one's analog for some reason not sure why hopefully they change that in the coming years but it's analog now you got your you got your light switches right here auto we always keep it in auto window switches all that good stuff right there lock button now let's get to the center you got your shifter feels good shifts nice drives nice i'm gonna take you guys on a little drive i know i haven't did in the other videos but i'll show you guys i'll switch over the gopro for that one because this camera's huge but this is the infotainment center started up this has apple carplay and android auto wirelessly usually you have to plug in like a cord for some other cars to get the apple carplay but this one's wireless then you have oh everything on here is like haptic feedback so it's not like an actual button now when you come to the climate controls this is where you got your actual buttons you guys saw in my old video with the already on everything was haptic touch i like that volkswagen should switch over to all that haptic touch haptic feedback even though I don't know, the, the buttons do feel good because you know it'll never mess up. Sometimes haptic feedback can mess up and you can't mess with it, but 
I personally like it. It was all haptic on the steering wheel too. This one's uh, button. It's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Then you have your parking brake, push to start, like I said, cup holders. You got two USB Type C's down there, and then you have a 12 volt outlet. You got this big center console. Open this up. We got stuff in here right now. This is my mom's truck. You got a USB Type C in there. Pretty deep. Pretty big. Got a big glove box too down here, which is nice to always have something to put your uh, valuables in. Got a lock on there too. If you ever leave something important in here. You got the Atlas floor mats. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Atlas. All in all, the seats, this car is pretty nice. I think the more expensive trim, this one's a pretty expensive trim. This car comes out to about, I believe, it came out to about 45,000. That's like uh, the middle one. I think the most expensive one is the R-Line Premium. And that one comes out probably to about like 60,000, I believe. And that one has a sunroof and all that stuff. And then there's two Atlases. So they have this Atlas that has the third row. It's the bigger one. Then you got the Cross Sport. The Cross Sport is the one that has kind of like a bent, Kind of like a hatchback almost trunk so it got a ton of space in the trunk and it looks sportier it kind of reminds me of like those uh like the Ardeon, like how it kind of goes down like that that's kind of what it is but it's an atlas that one's pretty nice i like that one if it had a third row it'd be cool but um this one's the big boy this is the biggest one so i showed you guys the front take you guys to the back to check it out all right the back seats are pretty big you guys can probably see it's big back here not small i got enough leg room you got a your uh, climate controls right here which are cool keep that on low because it's freezing i mean because it's hot outside you got your little cup holders right or your little uh you have your little holders to put stuff in behind the seats right there you have like a screen here like if you have a baby in the car you can put this up so it's not or even you you just put it up make sure it's not the sun's not all up in your face yeah you your speakers your window switches a big cubby down here pretty big pretty big you got this pull it down cup holder this is the third row pretty roomy back there i'll sit back there so you guys can see it the seats come up like that they come all the way forward I got enough room back here it's not too bad as you guys can see the only thing i have to lift this headrest down but i got enough leg room it ain't like super bad see enough leg room even though it's a little bit more up i can pull it back and still have some leg room you got little cubbies back here 12 volt your ac vents all that good stuff and then the trunk i'll show you guys the trunk right now i'll take you guys back there to look at it to open the trunk you click this button pops it right up back here you got you got enough space to put whatever you need i got my bag and my case for my gimbal back here not the biggest trunk but it's not the smallest either it's decent space like i told you guys the volkswagen's have decent sized trunks you put these seats back you got a ton of room but that's how it looks back there i'm gonna take you guys to the front so you guys can see what's under the hood let's check it out Alright guys, I told you guys this is a 2.0 liter V6 turbo engine. This engine has 276 horsepower. It gets 17 city, 23 highway. Combined it's 20 miles, uh, 20 gallons per mile. Which ain't too bad for how big the truck is. So, it's a Volkswagen. Pretty reliable engine. You're going to be good. We've had a couple Volkswagens from our personal experience. They're pretty reliable. The engine got a hydraulic stand to stand it up so you don't have to like hook something like a couple other cars have. I think all cars should just change over to that. I feel like it's a hassle, especially when the engine's hot. That thing could get hot to put up, but it is what it is. This was the Volkswagen Atlas 
20, 21 and a half. I'm gonna take you guys back to the outside. All right, we're gonna take this baby for a drive. I'm gonna use my GoPro, so I'm gonna switch over to that because it's smaller, easy to hold. This one's big. Switch over to the GoPro. See you guys right now. All right, guys, we're about to drive this baby. Show you guys, got it in drive. I'm in a parking lot, so I gotta like reverse. This thing got a backup camera, which is pretty nice. It drives super smooth. Most wagons always drive smooth though, like especially if it's a new car. I feel like all all cars should drive smooth, like all new cars. <laughs> the steering feels super good. The suspension feels pretty good. Drive super smooth. Let's feel the power. It's not super fast, but you can feel some some power. Yeah, the car drives good all in all. I feel like I like how it feels, drives smooth. No complaining on the driving. I hit about 45. Drive smooth at 45, drive smooth at low speeds. I didn't take it on the highway obviously, but pretty sure it drives smooth on there. I've been in the car while I drove. Feels good. Alright guys, let's go outside. All right guys, that was my review on the 2021 and a half Volkswagen Atlas. I personally like it. This is our family car. I love it. Big truck, third row. If you guys need something to fit your family, I recommend it. I would give this car a eight out of 10, which ain't too bad. But for for the cars that are in this category, like the third row, like SUVs, like it's, there's levels. I feel like the, like the one of the highest ones is probably like a Cadillac truck, like the Escalade with the third row. You got like the Infiniti QX80. You got the Lincoln Navigator. But this is pretty good for the price. Those are like hundred thousand dollar trucks or SUVs. This is a forty five thousand dollar SUV. Pretty good price, brand new. Can't go wrong with it. So if you guys like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.